Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making some delicious, delicious collard greens. So I just want to show you guys the size of this bundle. It is massive. I think this is the biggest bunch of collard greens I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> but today we're going to be putting, cooking them in the pressure cooker. Super simple and super fast. So stay tuned. I'm going to wash these and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I washed all the collard greens. Look at the size of these stalks, you guys. Wow, they are huge. They're almost like palm fronds <laughs> for us Floridians. Um, so what I am going to do, um, we'll see how much of this, I have an eight quart uh, Ninja Foodi pressure cooker. We'll see how much of this I can cut up to fit in there, but um, got my knife and cutting board here. I like to cut off the very ends. Uh, I don't care for the thick stalks. Um, I might trash can this. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, I include all of it. So I'm just gonna cut this into, um, I don't know, four or five inch um, bunches here. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and put those in the pot here. So we'll see how much of this, I, it, they really cook down, so shouldn't be a problem. Um, get rid of those tough stalks. And then I'll show you what I season it with. Um, and it's so good. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like collard greens. Um, if you've never tried them, give them a whirl. Uh, you know, with the proper seasoning, so many vegetables are just delicious and so good for you. So good. Good thing we have the eight quart. <laughs> All right. This seems really nice and fresh, too. Let's see if I can do this bunch here. Try to save all the leaves as much as I can. But some of these stalks are just a little too thick for my taste. But we're still utilizing a lot of that. Of course, you can prepare it and chop it the way you like. This is the way authentically Amber and her family like it. Here. One more here. So good. I think this might be the last bunch that I can squeeze into this pot. I might have to do those tomorrow. <laughs> Which that's okay because, um, you know, collard greens another night. That works for me. And then if it doesn't seem like they're moving fast enough in the fridge, um, sometimes I'll go ahead and put them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer. And um, what I did last night, we had a what I call a freezer stew. <laughs> I put um, some beef stew meat, again, um, in the Instant Pot. And I just put a lot of vegetables that I had stashed in the freezer before our trip. We had some fresh produce in the fridge that I didn't want to spoil, so um, some of that was actually some collard, collard greens, and um, yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. And it was really good, so it's always nice to have a stash of uh, fresh produce. So let me um, position, reposition the camera a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing here by the Instant Pot. Excuse me just a second. All right, so I'll come on this side and I'll show you what I have. So I have the old bay seasoning here. Let me grab my glasses. All right, so for those of you who are not familiar or in another country, um, I had a lady ask me what old bay had in it. So let me see here, ingredients. Celery salt, uh, salt and celery seed. Uh, spices including red pepper and black pepper and paprika. So this is yummy. So we're going to put some of that where you have some salt and pepper here and some apple cider vinegar. 
This one is White House brand, which I really like. And then I have some Better Than Bouillon um, beef flavor base that I would probably put two to three um, teaspoons of that, and then I have some water to pour in. So let's go ahead and shake some Old Bay here. This is going to be good. And of course, you know, season to taste. Whatever you like, put in there. Whatever you don't like, omit. That's the beauty of cooking. <laughs> it's all according to taste. Just a little salt. Not too much because we do have the bouillon. And some pepper. And this all is going to cook down nicely. I'm only going to put a little bit of the vinegar because I do add some of this when it's finished cooking to my plate and I really like the vinegar on the nicely cooked greens. And if you've never cooked with this better than bouillon, I uh, highly recommend. They have the chicken flavor, the beef, and a vegetable base also. So it, it comes in a nice thick um, kind of paste. It's highly concentrated. So you definitely need water, but um, I'm going to put probably three teaspoons. And then I'm going to really be dignified and use my finger since I didn't bring a spatula. Or maybe I'll just go grab a spatula. How about that? Um, to get that last little bit because we don't want to waste that. <laughs> Excuse me one second. All right. My handy dandy spatula. And then we're going to add the water. Now my manual for the um, foodie here it calls for cooking one bag of collard greens, which this is probably like a bag and a half at least to two bags uh, for only six minutes. That's not long enough for me. Um, so I like to do it. I think I've tried it eight minutes and I think I have tried it 12 minutes and I think 12 minutes is what I like. So I have six cups of water here. We'll, I kind of eye it, frankly, and see how much I need. I don't want to totally drown them. But the nice thing about the steam um, when you're cooking is, let me bring the camera over so you can see better, is uh, you don't need as much water. Ooh, oh, you just got all over the place. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right, let's see. There we go. You can actually see what I'm doing here. Look at that. So don't they look so good? Mm. And that bouillon's gonna break down in there. I think that's good. So I probably added almost the whole six cups of water. So let me grab the lid because this is the air fryer lid that came with it. So we're not gonna use that. We're going to use this lid instead. So. And I always have trouble with this lid. <laughs> Mostly when I'm filming. All right, let's turn this around. I've got it plugged in. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. And then, let me move that down a little for you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, so we turned it on. I'm going to select pressure and high on for 12 minutes and hit go. And then it let me know that it is cooking. So these will be absolutely delicious in 12 minutes. I hope you will give them a whirl. Comment below if you love collard greens or if you're thinking about trying them. Talk to you later. God bless.